Okay. All right, we're going to call the meeting to order. Uh, we have roll call. Did anybody not, again, not sign the attendance sheet? Right? Let's go ahead with that. We do not have a quorum, so we'll have to uh, put off making motions until the next meeting again. Uh, secretary's report, so it would have been for May 24th and July 1. Treasurer's report, we do have numbers. Alyssa wasn't able to attend tonight. She had some chop, chopping to do. We have uh, $3,275.21 in the checking and $5,591.30 in the savings. Right. Contact numbers as usual. If you have changes, if you would like to be added to the list, any of that, contact Mark um, at Newton Fire and Rescue. Committee reports, dispatch. Kayla or Angela? Sure. So uh, I will introduce Angela and I'll let her go first and talk about the dispatch. If you're done, then I'll move over to this. Angela, which one of you guys? Yeah. Well, first, introducing Angela. So I mentioned at our last meeting, um, as of that the supervisors are going to be uh, retaking over kind of the responsibility for operation management in the dispatch center. So along with that, I have asked them to attend uh, not only these EMS association meetings, but also have representation at the fire association meeting and our law enforcement that's meeting. Just so there's, you guys have better opportunities to see their faces and some of everything, but also so that they have the opportunity to get out of the community and share with what is happening in the center. So, ah, I'll let Angela give a dispatch update. Um, the good news is that we are currently at the Elm One position. We are, we have permission to hire for two weeks. We have an anticipated retirement in 21 for the next six months. Uh, so we've got interviews and interviews last week, and now uh, we've been doing testing um, and additional kind of sit-in and additional interview uh, with the employees. Um, currently, we have two people in training, in kind of the early days of the, the training period. We have two more scheduled in over the course of the next um, so we are in good shape, working hard with training. We also have two employees. Uh, I see a few of them last night where we had permission to hire and casual people. We have two dispatchers who have returned and are kind of filling in on a part time basis. Um, and they both, both starts this week and independently. So, so we have two people assisting with filling in some of the so, chug in where you want here. Um, and then on the emergency management side of the house, so two pieces of big news. Um, today, the deputy director for emergency management started the permit. Um, I have been without a deputy since May, so I'm very excited to see how the mission finally built. Um, he is not going to today, was his very first day, so he has a I will let you go home and ask that you can go take care of the puppy. I said that's fine. I understood that you have been in the office all day. Uh, his name is Brendan. Uh, he is he lives locally in Manitoba. He was originally from Hawaii. He was in the Air Force, has some experience as military police, and some experience with radiological preparedness and response. So both of those uh, were good assets to the department as far as our relationship with the community and things like that go. He also has a really vested interest in doing community outreach, which is something that I have in the system and this is something that I'm supposed to be a little bit more open for. Um, and like that attest to our director, like, hey, we're going to do this. Hey, we're going to do that. I want all these things to get out to So um, I'm excited to see that he has that interest as well. And I think that will serve the department very well. Um, the other big piece of news on the emergency management side is that I am moving the SRI County. Uh, my last day was the county will be next Thursday. Uh, I took a job with Iowa Women's Security and will be a radiological planner for the state of Iowa. 
for me. Now, their lands are because they don't have any, but with the counties that are impacted by neighboring lands in neighboring states. So, um, is there anything you guys can try? It's been fantastic working with you guys as a community, fantastic working with the Nantar County. I hope you guys do see and also feel that we've made some progress over the last year, uh, building relationships between both the staff emergency management, all of our response agencies in the county, um, and building that partnership. And I hope to see that Well, Brendan, as the deputy and whomever that the director will end up being, uh, I don't know the replacement for me yet. The county is doing interviews this Friday and next Monday. With my last day being Thursday, I am not very happy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you. Absolutely. What's Brendan's last name? Riley. R I L E. And it's Brendan. The two E is kind of spelling it wrong here. Oh. B R E D E N. Not A N, which is why I thought it was. All right. Any questions for Kayla? All right. And to our county sheriff department. Uh, don't we have lunch today? Uh, we have one new deputy going to the actual process currently on uh, computer motions and public people going through that field process here. Uh, and otherwise, you're at, at pretty much full complement right now. Correct. Right. Yes. Good. Any questions for sheriff's department? Right. Protocols. Obviously, we just went through some updated protocols for triage. Anything else new, Dr. Martins? There is a 2023 version of the Wisconsin State EMS protocols. I have not been able to read them line by line to see exactly what the changes are. I have found a few minor uh, updates in the dosing, which don't impact what most of you do. Um, but when I asked for the the highlighted version, like what were the changes? I was told that that document is not available. So I'll be reading the 287 pages to find us. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for doing that because obviously it's tedious. Nothing uh, new on finance, uh, disaster training 2024. Um, does anybody want to volunteer? Any service want to volunteer? No? No? <laughs> well, if you do want to do something and you have an interesting scenario, please let us know. Um, Rescue Task Force. Do we have anybody online? There's nobody online. Uh, so nothing going on. The newsletter has been going out. I hope that you've all been getting it. Um, education and training, really nothing new going on. There's always something free. Um, emails are going out constantly. Mark is sending out a lot of things, so please try to um, make yourself available about all that stuff. Medical directors, again, anything new? The only thing that I'll warn everybody about is this was just covered at the state meeting. We are in late renewal. So if you've got anyone, who okay. either did get the renewal done or is properly, get them renewed before the end of the year. Once uh, the end of the year passes, they have to go into a kid's statement, and that requires them to retake national registry. And it's also a little bit more expensive, but it's usually the hassle of the national registry that's a problem. Absolutely. So currently, if there's somebody that missed the registration renewal and they did not their con ed in time, so they actually did their student education late. They have to write a waiver um, to then get their read their renewal done. So it's another it's actually a piece of paper. They have to justify why they did what they did. They have to just write it down, and then hopefully um, they will be able to move forward. So as I keep reminding everyone, our job is to get people into EMS and keep them there, not build barriers to make them quit. I totally agree with that sentiment. Uh, oh, other okay. thing. Yes. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> no, I don't. How many of you know that National Registry is going away from first responders? Okay. 
Okay, how many of you, how many of you know that it probably is not going to be retroactive? It, it, it is supposed to start January 1st, which means as of January 1st, when you attend an EMR class, you don't have to take national registry. Everyone who's done this for the past two years and was unsuccessful in national registry is not grandfathered. Seeing it, <laughs> we might have a way around it, so stay tuned. We're already working on it. Because, again, I call it bullshit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned. We're working on it. But just, just so everybody knows, it is not an automatic retroactive. As January 1st. You don't get you don't get this credit. You got to figure this out. Okay. Uh, nothing new on radio that I know of, um, or Mavis. We uh, actually, at the Mavis conference last week, I was able to meet with the company that purchased e Mavis, so that was kind of cool. Um, one of the things that I think will be successful, um, not, even e Mavis is a great program, the intention behind it is fantastic. It is honestly the easiest way to make sure we are on the same page for cards across the county. Um, one of the issues with Manitowoc, along with several other counties, had is because Ryan was one person trying to run this program that I think got a lot bigger than we thought it would really quickly. Um, the response to issues, the response to bugs in the system either wasn't there at all or wasn't that adequately. Um, the new company, Haida, that uh, purchased eMavis, they have a program staff of 15. So they are able to provide a lot more support and a lot more attention to the program. Um, the guy that actually owns the company, the box program, he is a retired firefighter that he is down in somewhere a little bit south of here. Um, so he echoes the same frustrations that Chris and I have had with Brian and Travis been working with Brian. So I'm excited for that. Manitowoc County Emergency Services has committed to picking up that billing for EMAVIS to ensure that not only we have the system, we use the system, but also so that there's a little bit more incentive to standardize it across the county because one agency is only in versus one six agencies all holding a little piece of pie like we were before. Um, I have been working with Chris to increase training on that for dispatch with the fire department, all those things. But um, I think that I talked to them into build best for three years instead of one year, so that it, it wouldn't be something we want to do with mm -hmm. or at least a couple years down the line. Is there new contracts or design? There's a couple of tweaks or whatever that I wanted to get into. When I need to the help you do the thing, you don't get any spots. Sure. It's still for right now, it's just the help thing. Um, they are supposed to copy those to the dispatch of the writer. I don't know if they always come to us because I see very sporadic copied in emails. Um, what I would do in the meantime until Aida has really fully taken it over is just make sure Chris Dallas helps. Um, because he has the contact information that the guy that wanted and he can be a little bit more forceful and trying to get things addressed. Yeah. This is one of the issues that was I know the problem with so okay. All right. Uh nothing really new on our tech and her. Do we have anybody here from Technical College? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say, but um, like I said, we had the impact of the change in the uh, first responder curriculum is going to take to take away national registry. What unfortunately we discovered is that um, uh, LTC does a nice job of holding people to standards and actually getting training and uh, doing tests. There are uh, other programs where you show up for first responder class, you show up to test. No. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the program thought that the standard teaching and training and expectations that we're lining up, that's not true. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Blue Side is part of that legislation. Also, uh, 
uh, states that the agency can require national registry. So um, the hiring agency can require that final step if, if they want to. Um, there's debates both ways about that. And like I said, I've changed my mind on how useful national registry is at the first responder level. I'd rather get people in and trained up. And then, you know, who can you use on an ambulance? That's a different level. But um, it was rather disappointing to hear that there are certain uh, programs that just give you credit for, you know, being there. Right. Uh, I'd like to know about the legislative updates. Uh, the mutual aid agreement, mass casting plan, and EMS assistance protocols still need to be looked at and signatures. Uh, Point Beach nuclear plant half drop. How did we do? We did fantastic. Um, so you guys are probably tired of me talking about the new plant, but we had the half mile actually base drill and did the drill in July and the actual value the exercise in August. Um, thank you to those of you guys that participated. Thank you, Teresa, you and Melissa did fantastic in the sick man post. Um, thank you. Thank you for you guys who supported that. Um, we got a lot of drafts from FEMA, so part of the evaluation process is they go through and say, did we find any deficiencies? Yes, no, no, we had no deficiencies in Denver County. Did we have any planning issues? Yes or no, no planning issues in Denver County. And then the last piece of that is that they can actually take the opportunity to call out individual sections for strength and individual people for strength. Um, so as a result of that, um, our incident command polls got shout out. So fire EMS law enforcement, we had Teresa Lisa, and then Todd Cummings and Jason Ford sitting in the command polls. They were highly created by FEMA. Um, I got a shout out for my community role of the EOC and how I ran the reception center. Uh, Wisconsin Health Services got a shout out for their uh, support and training. Appleton Fire Department for the health center. Um, Dan for my red sheriff, uh, Sean Littlefield and Angela got a shout out for their work up at the information center. Um, pulling information from the county EOC got all the way up to Green Bay and broadcast as it would a real event. Um, and lastly, we had a little bit of an issue where uh, Manitowoc Police is supposed to provide the security and access control for the reception center. Um, they had the wrong date for the drill, so um, oh. as their evaluators are rolling in, I'm waiting for Manitowoc to show up, but they never showed up. So I called the sheriff's office in a panic, talked to the commander, and it was the same thing. I said, I don't care who you send me, please send me a body. I will take them. I need somebody in a uniform so we don't get in trouble. So uh, we sent him I just read it. He did everything I told him to do, and he did it perfectly. So he also got a shout out from FEMA for showing up and not knowing what the point was getting into. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that their job? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I was kind of a real life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. 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 So we, we did very well. It was very time. Good. Excellent. It's always nice to hear. All right. Nominations for vice president and treasurer. So in November, we will be um, voting for a new vice president and a new treasurer. Now, John said that he would still like to be <laughs> vice president. He does not want to move up to president because he doesn't have the time. Um, Alyssa, as treasurer, is stepping down. And I know that Lori has expressed some interest, so I'm nominating her. Anybody else that has any kind of interest in, the, in either position, please let me know. Or if you want to nominate somebody, also let me know. We'll get you with the nomination for Vice President Gatsby for the President of Yes. Would you be willing to accept it? Again? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I don't know if you can actually do that according to the bylaws. I know, right? I know that we have done it in the past. What? Is there anything in the bylaws that somebody has nominated that 
that I mean, I, I work for I work for another organization that's redid re their bylaws because we've had troubles getting people and sort of like people die <laughs> yeah. oh, and yeah. how they how you do the succession that way. So there's been a, is there anything in the bylaws that is something you know say something passes away or moves out of house? How do you refill that position? Is it a full nomination? Or but is there something in the bylaws too that makes you remain in that position? So that's kind of a caveat there too. That's right. If we do this, then we should do that. Right? I mean, what do you think, Mark? Yeah, I mean, you know more I'm about this. Hold up the bylaws to see what it says. All right. Okay, it says the vice president will fill the bank, uh, fill the presidency at the end of the two year term, beginning at the start of the fiscal year. The vice president, secretary, and treasurer should be elected by the membership organizations. The president and vice president shall hold office for two years, and the secretary and treasurer for two years, or until the successor is elected and qualified. Uh, the vice president. Treasurer shall be elected on odd years. Secretary will be elected on even years. Um, should an officer whose term does not expire be elected to a new office, such as secretary to vice president or the like, an officer will be elected to serve the unexpired term of the vacated office only. All officers shall be elected on the following procedure. The president shall designate a nominating committee. Such so nominating committee shall draw the candidates for the vacancies to be filled. Such slate the candidates plus any additional candidates nominated for the membership <coughs> shall be ballot, balloted upon the usual manner. So that's what it says. So that is what it says. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you can't even technically nominate since you're going to report. Not tonight. Not tonight, no. Not to. Not from you. Not to. Not to. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So the next meeting is going to be at Maribel. So we have to make sure we have a forum. So if you. Get a hold of your neighboring responders, agencies, please have them send at least one person or come online to All right, so we'll leave it at that tonight. Um, anybody else express an interest? One thing to make note to the November meeting is not important. No, I say it is. It is it's after the it is the twenty ninth this year. Yes. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Just have one other comment for uh, people who might like notice. Uh, Orange Cross has been working for many, many months up to a year uh, to uh, provide additional facility transport for the Manitowoc area. So shortly, you will see. Um, an orange press ring park over at Holy Family a couple times a week. Um, we have discussed that with multiple um, Manitowoc ambulance uh, agencies, so it's not a surprise. Uh, it's not an attack. It is not an invasion. It is a business game. So, just so you know that they're facing more of a orange press ambulance kind of floating around. No, I know that it's become a uh, issue. An issue, uh, an increasing problem, if you will, because it's just not enough. It's just not enough people to in the area to do that. Well, with freight, with one family going to freighter and transporting that, that's the that triples that the transport is much longer. Yes, if they do not. Yes. No, I'm sure that it's gonna. I'm sure that Matt Walks is going to appreciate that. 
All right. Anything else? I said orange press. Right. And the orange press coming up there are coming to these guys books too. Oh, okay. I work I work for HSHS in the transfer center. So yeah. Yeah. I got something to say. Yeah. On the website, there is a tab there for certificates. We used to make up certificates for all the education. We haven't been doing that lately. Is that, um, I guess, can I get rid of that? Because that is a huge file. I guess my question would be to that part so that because uh, it's a from presentation how you utilize to continue to get some right. of these other ones, would they fall into the category to continue to get that would be a cool thing to say how important they do, but it would be it would be bundled. I mean, as soon as you approve a um like a recognized figure or any of your training officers do presentation, that's an approved for global credit. Now you may or may not be able to want to use that because they may or may not be useful to you. But yeah, this like, this uh, presentation definitely will count because um, it is a national uh, curriculum and uh, considered a subject matter expert. So yes. So how do you get approved? Um, I I signed this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so they it's a former standard. Yeah. Yeah, so as long as you have someone who's a recognized expert, so say you bring in somebody from the hospital who does a certain presentation or a pediatric presentation, they are considered experts. So you can use that as uh, either local uh, or you know, county level uh, education. It does not apply to the national court system <coughs> for your refresher, but it applies to the experts. So how, how old do you have them in the file? I mean, how far back? Oh, it, well, it hasn't been done for a while. I, Can you yeah. delete them all and start a new situation to be frustrated? Well, yeah. Um, let me just see here. So is there a new Correct. Yeah, it would be yeah. just for the current. Yeah, yeah. frustrated. Yeah. 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 How we do it. I, I, I feel. From 2009 until 2017. Okay. Is in a, after 2017, their cabinet made the certificates of it. Right. That's that Maybe put them on a jump drive or something yeah. and keep it. It just, tonight is the first time that we're actually live on YouTube too. And that goes into, we have a a channel. Right. So we'll be if anybody wants to see this, you can go to that channel and review the play it again. Right. Because it's right. safe. So now my question to that is I'm just gonna be very that she's not here tonight. Right. And she was on YouTube and she get credit for it. But that I, I don't know how the a credit and like that goes a little sticker because we don't have like a business that goes yeah. on with this. No. That was not too good. I was in the very last yes. Yeah. So, but I'm just using her as an example. But in general, if you do an unorganized, unregistered class, it's better that you have an in person attendance. I mean, anyone can read it, watch it, and learn from it. Right, right. And that's right. Like because, right. because this can always be proved. Right. And then, I'm assuming it's like the National Coming University. Uh, yeah, the, tonight's is uh, actually it's it's a Mantua County EMS Association meeting um, 927 uh, that's going to be the title of this. So I guess the uh, Decision is then. I have. What do we do with the old right. ones? First of all, can you store I those? I can store them in a junk drive. Yeah. That way, you have more room on the 
to open up a new file yep. on the website. Sure. That would be true. I just figured, and now that we're going to have these YouTube events, right? I'll put them in there instead. That'd be great. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Otherwise, uh, not looking for a motion, but I think anybody want to say that if you, you want to wish her? Let's go. You should say closing prayer. Thank you all for coming. It's always appreciated. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.